Hi everybody, Spluff5 here, and this is episode 3 of Industrial Craft for Dummies. Today we're going to be covering energy transport and storage. I've already shown you the batteries that you can put power into and carry it around that way, but I'm actually going to be showing you wiring today. Okay, let's get straight into it. The first thing I'm going to show you is this thing called a bat box. It is made with three rechargeable batteries. They do not need to be full. They're just full in that picture, but they don't actually need to be full. And in fact, I recommend them not being full because you won't get the energy back. You also need a copper cable, remember those from crafting the batteries, and some wooden planks of any type. And just for remembering, a copper cable is made with copper ingots and rubber. Right, now, what this does is we'll go over to our generator. Now, it matters which way you place this. Like, I'm going to place it like this. And the generator has immediately started burning because it's draining all of its power into this bat box. This bat box is a storage unit. It can store 40,000 EU. And yeah, that's all it does. It just stores all the power that you make. Well, 40,000 EU of the power that you make. So yeah, the generator is running and it's draining all of its power that it's making directly into this bat box. That's pretty cool. So now you've got kind of a more storage of power. Oh, lagging. Why am I lagging so much? All right. Also, if you get your rechargeable batteries, you can put them in, I think, the top slot, and they will also charge up. But here's mm. the best part. If you have a battery that is already charged up, and you go place a bat box somewhere else, like say out here that's not connected to a generator you can put your already charged battery in the bottom slot and it will drain the energy out of the battery and into the bat box so that's kind of a way to transport power and then store it where you transported it to hello cow as of the time of this recording we have still not named that pink sheep it's over there and he's still not named, so he needs a name. Leave it in the comment section below. Anyway, notice... Okay, the next... Well, something. The next part I'm going to show you is... Oh, um, hey, look, everyone. It's daytime. Um, see how on the side of this bat box, one of the sides has this little orange dot on it? See, none of the other sides do. That's the output, that little orange dot. This bat box will accept EU from a generator or from some other source on any side except for the one with the orange dot. And the bat box will send out EU on the orange dot but no other sides. Now, how we send out EU is like this. Remember the copper cable? This stuff? Well, it's actually placeable. It's not just an item. We can place it down, and if it comes out of the output slot, we can send it along somewhere. Oh, let's say over here. And here I'm going to put another bat box so we can transport energy. See, that one's starting to fill up. And this one is starting to drain. So, yes, it will always put its power to the furthest along bat box in the line so I could add another one and then this one here would dump into that one and then that one would dump into the new one anyway so yeah that's how you kind of transport power around between bat boxes next episode I promise I will be showing you something to do with power with power like some of the actual uses for power I promise I will show you but that won't be this episode now, this bat box, it's kind of, 
it only stores 40,000 to you and that's not that much. I mean, see, it's almost full already. So you can't really store that much. Well, there is a solution for that. We have this thing called the MFE. Oh, wait, notice before I show you the MFE that it will output 32 EU per tick. So that's how much it will output. Now, the MFE looks like this. And it's made with a machine block. This 2x insulated gold cable, which is made with... It's kind of complicated to make. But first you need insulated gold cable, which is made by putting a gold ingot and surrounding it by rubber. And that will give you four insulated gold cable. And then to get the 2x insulated gold cable, you need to combine the insulated with another piece of rubber. So anyway, that's what that bit is. And then these are energy crystals. And they're just made with a diamond surrounded by redstone. So yeah, they're pretty simple to make. Anyway, what this MFE does is... Hmm, how are we going to do this? I'm going to install... I'm going to install another cable here and I'm going to put the MFE here and it's nice and silvery looking and again it's got that orange dot on it and that dot will face you from where you placed it so like if I'm sitting here it's going to face me but if I'm looking this way it's going to face me so it faces you from where you place it anyway it's got a pretty cool interface this one stores 600,000 EU, so a lot more. And it outputs 128 EU per tick, so it outputs faster and stores more. Also, I don't think I covered this button here. This button, behavior emit if full, behavior emit if partially filled. What this does is um, you can set it to different settings, so energy settings, so like when the MF mfe is full it will emit a redstone mm. signal or if it when it's empty it'll emit a redstone signal so they're just different settings for redstone signals Ooh. by the way happy new year everybody um i'm recording this on new year's day so mm. yeah that's all fine and good mm. okay yep that's still See, that's collecting some, then immediately dumping it out once it reaches 32, which is what it needs to dump out. Mm. Anyway, so say we wanted even more storage. So we decided to mm. set up another bat box from this MFE um, along the same line. Let's see what happens. Mm. Boom! The bat box mm. will explode and the cabling will burn away. So don't do that. What happened is I told you it outputs 128 EU per tick. That's considered... Mm. Just repair this little hole here. 128 EU, was it? Yep. That's considered medium voltage. Mm. 32 EU, which is what the bat boxes output, is low voltage. And you can put low voltage into a medium voltage device like this one. This will accept any medium voltage and anything lower. But you mm. cannot put medium voltage into a low voltage device like a bat box, which accepts low voltage only. But this accepts, yeah, medium voltage and lower. So... Yeah, you can't go directly from an MFE into a bat box. Mm. It just won't work. But what you can actually do, you can do it, but you need a special device to do it. What you can do is get this thing called an no. LV transformer, which stands for low voltage transformer. It's made with two copper cables. Mm some wood of some kind, it doesn't matter, and three copper ingots. And what this does is, if we hook it up, 
Didn't mean to put two down. Let's get rid of this one real quick. Now these do not have an inventory or interface or anything. See? When you try to right click on them you place more. In fact, I'm just going to get a pickaxe. No. For some reason a pickaxe is more effective against these even though they're made out of wood. Anyway, so let's try it now. See, wait, I'll explain the sides first. See, when you place it, the side that's facing you is the side that has three dots on it. Every other side has one dot only. How this works is the higher voltage goes into the side with three dots and then it comes out as the lower voltage out of all the sides that only have one dot. So in this case, it will accept medium voltage into the side that has three dots and it will output low voltage out the sides that have one dot. Let's give it a try. Did you see that? I'll do it again. The wire is still burning away. That's because that copper, wire, copper cable cannot handle medium voltage. So we need to get that gold cable we saw earlier. There's insulated gold cable and there's 2x insulated gold cable. And there's also gold cable that isn't insulated. And there's also copper cable that isn't insulated, but I haven't showed it to you. Anyway, how this works is mm. this gold cable, I've showed you how to make it already. Except I didn't show you how to make the uninsulated one. Just to make the uninsulated mm. one, you just get three gold ingots, and that will give you 12. Anyway, so let's try it with the uninsulated. Even though it's uninsulated, it still didn't burn up. That's because it's made of gold and can accept it. But because it's uninsulated and it has no rubber on it, if you touch it, it can sometimes give you an electric shock. Mm. But it's not giving me one this time because it hasn't. It's no power is actually flowing through it. Power will only flow through something if there's somewhere for it to go. So let's hook up our bat box. Now that it's low voltage coming out of the transformer, we can use copper cabling again. Ah, electric lick, electricness. And they can shock you from quite a distance. Ow, electricness. So yeah, you want to insulate your cabling a little bit. Now we're not getting shocked. Right, let's try it with just insulated, not 2x, just insulated. Looks like that. It's a bit thinner than the copper cable and it will still shock you because it's not insulated enough. But it doesn't have a very wide range for shocking. I'm just going to get some food because, you know, I'm dying here. Let's get some golden apples because they're, you know, healthy. And they regenerate you. I run out of regeneration. Right? Oh, that's interesting. You can eat golden apples when you're not hungry. Okay. Anyway, so it doesn't have a very wide range, but it's not going through it. Power isn't going through it at the moment, simply because this bat box is already full. So, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna break this bat box here, which also a pickaxe works most effectively against. But here's a warning, do not use a pickaxe on your MFE. It will turn it back into a machine block if you use a pickaxe. So as of the point of this recording, do not use a pickaxe on your MFE. Place it exactly where you want it to be. Otherwise it will turn back into a machine block and you will lose those four diamonds. In the next episode, or no, the episode after next episode, I will show you how you can not break it, but still pick it up. Alright, anyway, so the power's going back into here. Hopefully. Oh, that one's full already. They fill up extremely quickly when attached to a MFE.
but see it's still shocking me but not from as wide a range so what you really want to use is 2x insulated gold cable because that doesn't shock you at all see no shocking oh that's full I'll break this again to lose yeah when you break a bat box and you can break bat boxes with a pickaxe see no shocking Anyway, when you break a bat box with a pickaxe, um, it, you will get it back, but you will lose all the energy inside. So yeah, if you're transporting medium voltage EU, use gold. Do not use copper. And use 2x insulated gold. Unless you're doing it in some like little underground chamber that you'll probably never go inside again, you can use uninsulated but I wouldn't recommend it because it actually has energy loss as well as electric shocks so after a period of time it will start losing EU that travels through it yep so I guess that oh no that will not quite wrap up this video I will show you a third type of cable and this kind of cable is Oh, I know it's called ultra low current cable. Now, what this is, is just three tin, and that will give you nine. This, uh, you cannot insulate it. You do not need to put rubber on it. And it has almost no energy loss, but can only accept something like two EU per tick. So it's ideal to hook up to solar panels. Perfect thing to hook up to solar panels. Just put down my bat box. And see? Building up power. So yes, but um, if you're having a wide kind of array of solar panels, which you can do, although you can't place solar panels on top of each other or wiring on top of solar panels, otherwise they will not be able to produce energy. And see they're sideways for a minute, then they turn the right way. That's just a um, rendering thing. So you can have like arrays of solar like this. And I recommend using tin cable for them because it has almost no energy loss. But it can only accept two EU per tick. So it's only really useful for using solar panels, for using with water mills, and for using with windmills. All those passive generators. And we're quickly building up power. I recommend solar as your chief kind of power production means because it's free for a start. You don't need to give it any product for it to work. And yeah, but it does only work at daytime. So I recommend if you have a whole lot of machines hooking up twice as much solar, well, twice as many solar panels as you need, proper grammar. And then I'm um, putting a bat box. So it will collect twice as much power as it needs during the day. And then it will, during the day, it will use half of that. And then during the night, it will use the other half. And yeah, and um, two EU per tick is considered ultra low current or micro, well, ultra low voltage or micro voltage. And a bat box can't accept that directly. So that, this has been the episode on how to store, transport, and transform your power. Next episode, we'll be finally getting into what you can actually do with this power. So yes, this is Spluff5 saying goodbye. And, oh, that's really building up. Spluff5 saying goodbye. And see you in episode three. Bye.